I am a Republican, and I believe that the Republican values should be upheld in government. This is Bill Conrad, and between now and the primary election, the RMC has a lot of content coming your way. This little clip was recorded at the end of the Attorney General's and Nevada Treasurer's debates, which is on 19th of April. We're going to have some of the candidates give a 30-second to one-minute introduction of their name, what race they're running in, just briefly a little something they want to say by themselves. I guess ladies first, huh, Ozzy? Okay. <laughs> My name is Ozzy Shirazi, and I'm running for Reno mayor. Uh, I am a Republican, and I believe that the Republican values should be upheld in government. Uh, that does involve being uh, fiscally responsible, uh, not necessarily conservative, but responsible that there's not wasteful spending, and also an effective government. I believe that the mayor's role should be to make sure that other people are also doing their job in the city because uh, it is the chief in command. I think that the mayor's position is very important to raise morale and to make sure that people have the option to be homeowners and not to ever experience a crisis like this again that came from corporations and not necessarily an influx of population. Thank you. Next candidate, Joe Lawrence. Hi, I'm Joe Lawrence. I'm proud to say I'm a proud Republican and I am a proud Reno native, born and raised here. The son of a blackjack dealer, um, was in the Nevada National Guard, university graduate, graduate. I've owned my own business for 25 years and every two years for the past 30 years, I've thought about running and finally I, I decided that with my wife's blessing that it's time to step up and do something. I'm tired of watching this town slip closer and closer towards San Francisco. We have uh, six out of seven on the city council are Democrats. Somebody has to step up and do something and bring some reality back into the city. And that's why I'm fighting for you in Reno and Reno Ward, uh, City of Reno Ward number two. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Next candidate is Don Cavallo, public administrator. And thank you very much, Ray. Yes, I'm Don Cavallo, your Washoe County public administrator for <clears throat> running for reelection. My first question to everyone I always ask, is your estate plan in order? Do you have a trust in place? Do you have your will in place? The Office of the Public Administrator handles estates. When people pass away in Washoe County that haven't prepared for that, the affairs may end up in our office. And we're the ones that take care of that. I'm running for re-election, and I ask for your vote and your support. Thank you very much. I'm Don Cavallo. Thank you, Don. Next candidate is Ira Hansen, running for Senate 6, 14. Thank you very much. It's really awkward to turn and talk to that when I have an audience here, so I'll do both. Hi, everybody. But I'm going to talk to you first. Uh, I'm Ira Hansen, running for State Assembly. I have been, yeah, thanks, Don. I have been uh, uh, elected official, served four terms in the State Assembly. So I've only got a minute real quick. I was voted the number one legislator by the Retail Association of Nevada, which is a small business uh, 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 lobbying group, if you will. And I was voted the worst legislator by the ACLU. So that should give you a pretty good idea where I am, right? <laughs> Number one with small business, worst with ACLU. Please, I'm running. Don Gustafson has retired. I'm running his seat. You want to keep a good Republican tradition going. Uh, I really urge you to give me a chance. So I urge you to vote for Ira Hansen if you live in Assembly District, I mean Senate District 14. Thank you, Ray. You notice Ira is very shy. Next candidate is Sharon Angle. She's running for Congress and Assembly, uh, I mean, two. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. I am Sharon Angle running for Congressional District 2, and I want your vote. I'm running against the incumbent establishment, uh, now Congressman Amade, because of his continuous votes against our Constitution. Uh, this latest omnibus bill is a, a travesty. It increased our debt by $1.3 million trillion. And the, probably the worst part of it is the fixed NICs, which invades our privacy and incentivizes agencies to uh, report private data so that our uh, ability to own a gun or even to get a concealed carry is uh, red flagged because of problems within 
uh, this next fix next bill. I what, I am Sharon Angle. I'm running for Congressional District 2. I want your vote, and I'd be glad to talk to you more about this uh, terrible omnibus bill that the incumbent has voted for. Thank you, Sharon. Next candidate is Gary Schmidt. He's running for Senate 16 for Nevada. Hello, everybody. I'm Gary Schmidt. I'm the real Republican candidate for Senate 16. That's Southern Washoe County. Incline Village, and all of Carson City. However, it is state senator, and I will, when elected, represent the entire state. I have a lot of knowledge about my district. I've lived in the district for 46 years. That's five years longer than my opponent's been alive. I've been in business, real business, farming, ranching, retail, uh, concert production, the hospitality industry for 50 years. That's nine years longer than my opponent's been alive. I'm the Republican that's been fighting the the margins tax. I donated money to repeal the commerce tax. My opponent is the last Republican in the state legislature that voted for the commerce tax. I'll fight to repeal it. My opponent is the only Republican in the legislature that voted for Senate Joint Resolution 14, which is going to double and triple your property tax over the next five to ten years. It'll come up for a vote again in 19. I'll vote against it. I served four years on the Washoe County Board of Equalization. I understand the property tax system. It does not need to be turned upside down. It'll make us one of the most uh, property tax unfriendly states in the nation. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Next candidate is Bill Boyd. He's running for governor. Howdy, everybody. Is that camera set up so it can hit me above the chest? (laughs) Would you check on that for me? There's nothing more that I hate worse than... (laughs) Well, well, you just pick the camera up and we'll be all right. (laughs) Anyhow, my name is William Boyd and I'm running for governor here in the state of Nevada. And I've heard some really nice things in here today. It's just wonderful. But I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy for the opportunity to run for governor here in the state of Nevada, and I'm looking forward to my opportunity to represent every taxpayer in the state. Thank you very much. (laughs) Mr. Rocha. Thank you, Bill. Next is Janie Herman. She's the current county commissioner running again. I would... Can you hear me? (laughs) Okay. I would be probably the one you would call your constitutional conservative commissioner. And I hope I have lived up to it so far. And I'm looking for a second term so I can finish all those things that I started. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. Next is Tammy Davis, our county treasurer, running again. Good afternoon. I am Tammy Davis, your current Washoe County Treasurer. I'm running for re-election. I think it's very important for someone with experience and integrity to hold this office. I bring 20 years of experience, including implementing the AB 489 tax caps, which make our property taxes one of the more complex in the country. I understand those from the ground up. And um, so I have that experience, and I would appreciate your vote. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Next candidate is running in our result seat, which is 32. Alexis Hansen, you're welcome. Hello, hello, but hello to you. Uh, Alexis Hansen, uh, running for State Assembly District 32. Everybody's been asking me, why would you want to do this? Well, uh, my youngest went off to college, so this is what I would like to do with my, my spare time. But actually, the real reason I'm running is I lived through the 2015 session when the Republicans were in charge, just like you did. And when this seat opened up, I thought, this is, a, this is a Republican I can trust. So I'm running because um, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And I always taught my children that if you see a problem, be a problem solver. Don't just complain. So now's my turn to step up to the plate see what I can offer the state of Nevada. My roots go back to 1874 in Nevada. I'm fifth generation Nevadan, a business owner for 30 years, homegrown mom, pa, plumbing shop here in Sparks in Reno, Nevada. 
but probably the greatest work is that my husband and I have raised eight wonderful children. Um, yes, I raised eight teenagers, so I know how to stand my ground when things get tough. And I'd appreciate your support uh, in the upcoming election. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alexis. Next is Mike Clark. He's our current county assessor and running. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mike Clark, running for re-election. I'm the Washoe County Assessor, and uh, my whole goal is to make sure that all the uh, property tax payers are treated fairly, equally, and make sure that no one has to pay a cent more than they should by statute. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Thanks, Mike Clark. Thank you. Next is Tom Heck. He's running for U.S. Senate. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all of you. I uh, appreciate you being here to, to check me out. Um, when I first got to Nevada, one of the big things I heard people say is they were looking for a conservative to run and they never found conservatives running for office. I'm the conservative running off for office. I'm the only electable conservative running for U.S. Senate. Check me out, TomHeck.org. There's polling out there, TomHeck.org slash polling. And I would appreciate your vote in June 12th primary. And the choice is clear. Do you want someone that tells you what you want to hear, talks one way, and votes another? Or do you want someone that focuses on problem solving, common sense solutions, and successful outcomes? Vote Tom Heck, TomHeck.org. Thank you, Tom. Last candidate is Maria Davis. She's running for Reno Ward 2, uh, Reno City Council. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I am a Hispanic who is Republican. Uh, and it is Obama's fault. It is Obama's fault that I am a Republican. When I first heard his speech, uh, the very first time when he was running in 2008, I, um, I heard his voice and I did not see him. I was not facing the TV. Um, he sounded just like the politicians that I, used to, uh, that I remember coming to my town. So I decided I did not want to be whatever he was. And I, am, I believe in democracy. The reason I'm running for city council is because I believe that the people should be the one to tell the representatives what their concerns are and those representatives should be listening to that voice I want to be the voice of the people coming back to the negotiating tables so that we make decisions that affect our community in a positive way so I'd like to be your voice I want to be your liaison back into the government back at getting the community back into the government and back into the decision-making process thank you vote for me Maria Davis or two I want to thank all the candidates for Spur of the Moment. Oh. Yes, for those of you who don't know, you have to be a citizen to run for office. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank all the candidates, the Spur of the Moment that came up here. I think the debates were great. The candidates had an opportunity. They're all circulating, so talk to them. See, get your questions answered, the ones that debated, the ones that were here. Now we're going to do the 50-50. Wes, do you want to pick the winning ticket? Partners. I want to thank everybody for coming. Circulate. Thank you very much. By the way, the next meeting, can I have your attention for one more minute? The next meeting is May 17th. It's on a Thursday, and Adam Laxall will do a town hall. Adam Laxall. Hi, this is Bill, and thank you for watching. Go ahead, and if you're not signed in, sign into your Gmail. Go right up here and subscribe to RMC TV. And go over here, watch a couple more videos, link to our website at republicanmenisclub.org. And finally, make sure you go down and leave a comment. The comments really help. See you on the next video.